This episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break is dedicated to Kyle Norman, a longtime listener of the Brutal Battle podcast, longtime, big-time supporter. Um, the reason I'm saying it's dedicated to him is because this is a beer he's been telling me to try for some time now. He had had it a while back, and he's like, you have to try it. I know you have a bottle. So, Kyle, here it is. You can see it and know how I feel about it. Um, so the beer is Mango Magnifico. Uh, it's by Founders Brewing Company. Let me go ahead and show it to you. Um, they always have cool artwork. Um, Mango Magnifico, it's ale brewed with mangoes and a little bit of habanero added to it. Um, so there should be some spice to it. Uh, 10% alcohol by volume. Uh, Founders Brewing Company is out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. And Founders, as anyone knows, if they listen to the podcast, I'm a pretty big fan of Founders Brewing Company. I don't think I've had anything by them that I've been like, oh, I hate this or I dislike it. It's, it ranges from good to amazing. So hopefully this is uh, closer to the amazing side of that scale, but we'll find out. All right, I'm ready to crack this sucker. I hope there's not too much uh, heat to it because I have a hard time handling heat in food and in beers. Um, I have Crime and Punishment by Stone, which is you know, something that's extremely... Um, hot apparently because of uh because of all the uh peppers in there but uh, i'm gonna let age and see what happens i'm not even attempting to try it because i don't want to burn my taste buds off um but like habanero sculpin by ballast point i had that and that was i mean i could handle it but it was just a little too hot for me so we'll see where this clocks in go ahead and pour this sucker and with 10 percent abv i'm assuming that it'll have well, probably you know a decent viscosity to it all right very orange very clear beer um some nice large bubbles clinging to the sides in there smell of mango as you can assume if it's brewed with mangoes you don't really get a whole lot of like habanero heat in the nose but you get a little bit of it at the end of the aroma when you kind of you know suck it in some decent, like, a um, little bit of, like, a caramelly maltiness to it in there, too. Which is actually playing really well with the mango. Which, as people know, mango as a fruit imparts a little bit of, like, a pininess in addition to, like, a citrusy tropical um, aspect. Hmm. I mean, it smells good. Ooh. It's very sweet up front. Very mango-y, like mango 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 on your tongue it actually kind of feels like you're putting mango fruit in your mouth because it's like the body's pretty thick so it's kind of like you're just like laying a slice of mango right on your tongue because you're getting that flavor and then right after the intense mango is when the heat starts to kick in and it's kind of like builds up builds up builds up and then it starts building down uh, it gets a little hot for my liking at one point but it comes down pretty quick after that so I think I can handle this. Mm. Wow. Um, it's good. I'm going to be sharing this with my wife, and I think she's really going to like it because she's a fan of mango. She's a fan of Founders Brewing Company, and she also likes some things with a little bit of kick, a little heat to it. The habanero is not too much. I think they did a good job with it. Um, I think for me, I could take a little bit less, um, but that's just because I'm a wuss when it comes to to heat from peppers, uh, but I think a lot of people would probably drink this and be like, I could take some more heat easily. So I think it's kind of hit a nice kind of middle ground for people, um, but the mango flavor in that is awesome, and I love the, ha the fact that it's pretty viscous. It's got a really thick mouthfeel. Um, nice, tropically mango-y, and some habanero on the finish that doesn't stick around too long. It dissipates after a bit. So Founders Brewing Company, really well done, as I assumed it would be. Thank you so much for putting out this Mango Magnifico, and Kyle Norman, you were right. Tasty stuff. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode, whenever that'll be, and hope you enjoy it. Go grab a beer.